Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that might seem a bit awkward, but it's super important for your health. We're talking about why you might be pooping blood without pain. Now first off, if you ever notice blood in your stool, it can be really alarming. But don't freak out just yet. Sometimes it happens without any pain, and there are a few reasons why this might be the case. Reason 1. Hemorrhoids. One of the most common reasons for blood in your stool is hemorrhoids. These are swollen blood vessels in your rectum or anus. They can bleed without causing pain, especially if they're internal. You might notice bright red blood on the toilet paper or in the toilet bowl. It's not usually serious, but it's definitely something you should keep an eye on. Reason two, anal fissures. Another cause can be anal fissures, which are small tears in the lining of your anus. While these can be painful, sometimes small tears might bleed without much discomfort. They're often caused by passing hard stools or straining during bowel movements. Reason three, diverticulosis. Diverticulosis is a condition where small pouches, called diverticula, form in the walls of your digestive tract. These pouches can sometimes bleed, leading to blood in your stool without any pain. It's more common as people get older. Reason four, gastrointestinal infections. Certain gastrointestinal infections can also cause bleeding. These might be accompanied by other symptoms like diarrhea or cramps, but not always. If you've traveled recently or eaten something questionable, this could be a culprit. Reason five, polyps or colorectal cancer. While less common, polyps or colorectal cancer can cause blood in your stool. Polyps are non-cancerous growths that can bleed, and sometimes they can develop into cancer. This is why regular screening, like colonoscopies, are crucial, especially if you're over 50 or have a family history of colorectal cancer. What should you do? If you notice blood in your stool, it's important to take action. Don't panic. One time might not be a big deal, but recurring blood is something to investigate. Monitor. Keep track of how often it happens and any other symptoms you might have. Diet and hydration. Sometimes, increasing your fiber intake and staying hydrated can help ease symptoms if it's due to hemorrhoids or fissures. See a doctor. Always a good idea to get a professional opinion. They might recommend tests to determine the cause and the best course of action. All right, folks, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health tips and info. And remember, your health is important, so don't hesitate to talk to a healthcare provider if you're experiencing any unusual symptoms. Stay healthy and see you next time.